Welcome to Entertainment News on AIT. I am Ifeinwa Mwobi. Gathered here are friends, family, associates and well-wishers who have come from far and near to celebrate a man better described by many as an icon of peace, truth and friendship. Sir Lindsay Barrett recently turned 80 and a birthday party was thrown in his honor to appreciate him for his selfless service to humanity and nations of the world. He is an incredible citizen of the world. He's been a blessing to Nigeria. Africans in the diaspora, you can always choose to come back to the motherland uh, and receive a warm embrace. Africa is rising thanks to people like Lindsay. We are very grateful of the, uh, you know, the time that he spent uh, internationalizing our problems and making sure that uh, especially the peace, the peace uh, keeping force at the time, ECOMOG, uh, attained its objectives. Today we celebrate him. We celebrate a true global citizen. Somebody that represents the true essence of Africanness and the resilience of the African spirit. A novelist, poet, photographer, journalist, Pan-Africanist, amongst others, Sir Lindsay said that in all these, family and friendship stands up for him while thanking God for life's journey so far. It's been a good life. Well, very adventurous, very exciting, and most disappointments eventually turn to surprises. The way I was before I came to live in Africa, I don't think I would have lived to 80. Living in West Africa has given me a purpose, given me an objective. And I've learned things about friendship and family in Africa that I would not have known if I hadn't come here. And those things have kept me alive. A man of many sides, but one attribute that no one can deny is his determination to achieve set goals in the line of duty and social relationships. His lifestyle over time, from when I was very young, I always had this fear that this man would get to old age. He was overactive, always on the go, always after something, always busy. The, that spirit of achieving, giving the best, not cutting corners, refusing to bend when it's necessary to go straight. My well, grandpa is, is really a very, very determined person, very this. creative. He's very strong to have come from a different, all the way from his homeland to a different place and become like this sort of icon. And I, can never I really appreciate him in my story. life. He's helped out a lot. Let's say Barrett. To say a word or two. It's a troublesome man, but he makes the right type of trouble. Thank you very much. Busy body, but only for your good. Oh, I need him around, so he's going nowhere. You know, being his daughter-in-law has been such a blessing. Nothing, nothing short of that. It's such a blessing. Though of Jamaican descent and naturalized as a Nigerian in the 1980s, Esogene, as he is fondly called, and his family can be said to be 70% Nigerian, owing to decades of commitment in Nigeria and Africa at large. I was once called Esogene, Orobone. When I came to Went Nigeria, to the I thought there were only three languages. World service. I didn't know there were over 400. And, and I want to be a Nigerian, so I decided so instead of picking any them. languages, I would work. just behave because as that he had Nigerians me want me to be. principled man has not changed his stance on a lot of issues since I've known him since I was a child, and he's kept it that way. And I think that's one of the things I admired and I've also kept for myself. My prayers that he has many more years ahead, and God keeps him for us. No matter how hard it gets, he keeps family together. And so in everything I do, my kids, my family, strong. That is the one principle I have gathered and I'm holding on to. I speak Urobo. The mayor is Euro. My name is Ejiro. I have picked up Yoruba. Agbadura for We pray for you all.
So I'm celebrating today, first as one of the foremost diasporas who said I'm coming back home, and also a fantastic media person, and uh, we should all emulate him. And who better to hear from on how journalism has fared in Nigeria today than this dogged octogenarian? I never really worried when I was working how I would end or if I would end. I wanted to be sure that the story got out and that people learned from it. Anytime I've had a close shave, it has been because I was trying to tell a story that I felt would help people. 11 children and children really, and still I, I really want to believe that Nigeria is the best in Nigeria in Africa for freedom of the press. And, uh, 80 and hearty, we wish him more healthy years ahead with friends and family. And that's it on Entertainment News on AIT. I am Ifeiwa Kobe. Thank you for watching.